Greetings, train fans. Hope you're doing well. Behind me is a box I just got in this weekend from trainworld.com out of New York. So this is something I had pre-ordered some time ago and finally just came off the boat and delivered to my front door. So I'm really eager to take a look at it. It's something that I thought looked really nice in the uh, conceptual artwork. So let's see how it looks in person. All right, let's go ahead and get this opened up here. So Train World has two stores, there's Train Land and Train World if you're in the New York area. But they have a great website as well. And uh, a lot of times they have really interesting items that are exclusive to Train World. There we go. Atlas Premier Rolling Stock. This of course was acquired from MTH, their uh, old Premier line. And this is a uh, special box, box car uh, for Ukraine, which of course is under attack from uh, Vladimir Putin's Russia. And uh, Atlas is donating all of the profits of this box car to uh, uh, Ukrainian relief efforts. Uh, so that's nice. I do like the uh, artwork on it. Here's the uh, box information here. 1991, of course, being the year of Ukrainian independence from the Soviet Union. Okay, let's pop it open here. So I believe these all sold out uh, fairly quickly. Got to add it on ladder here. BS plastic has some nice heft to it, underside. Okay, let's go ahead and put on tracks, see how it looks. So I was looking closely at this box just to see if it stated the country manufacturer. It only has the address of uh, Atlas. The corporation. I presume it's made in China, but it doesn't say specifically. Definitely doesn't say made in USA either. <laughs> so here's the uh, box car. Very uh, vibrant Ukrainian colors. Blue. The uh, sunflower here is the national flower, of course, of Ukraine. So I think it looks pretty sharp. First side is, of course, uh, identical. So, those that really want to support Ukraine, of course, probably the best method would be to donate directly to a relief organization. So yes, as I mentioned, I think this box car looks pretty sharp. Look around the layout. If it uh, brings more attention to the plight of Ukrainians and uh, more support for them, that's all the better. And certainly just remind us uh, what we have and to not take uh, freedom and peace for granted. Warning and trigger advisory. Reminiscing on the failures of all of our politicians. I'm going to get a little political here, so I do apologize. I hope it doesn't distract too much. Uh, from checking out this engine. Uh, so again, I apologize, uh, but you've been warned. Now, after the end of the Cold War,
politicians talk about a peace dividend, that they could just spend lots of money on social programs and neglect the military. We didn't need a military anymore in the United States. But the peace dividend, in my opinion, was peace itself. And one must always remain vigilant. And the best way to achieve peace is to prepare for war. Uh, to be strong is to deter your uh, potential adversaries. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Putin was not deterred and uh, has had a string of invasions into many of the uh, former realms of the Soviet Union. Um, Georgia, Ukraine, both in Crimea and the rest of Ukraine. They have the uh, Transnistria area in Moldova, where they have their uh, military units propping up a pro-Russian separatist government. And let's not also forget about uh, the plight of the Syrians, where they uh, rose up to free themselves, and uh, uh, Vladimir Putin sent in his troops to prop up uh, President al-Bashar and uh, crush uh, those seeking freedom in that nation as well. And that country is utterly devastated. So yeah, uh, freedom-loving countries uh, definitely need to support each other. And while our country is very divided, hopefully we can... Uh, Find it in our hearts to at least achieve peace through strength. Regardless of whether one is independent, conservative, or liberal, Republican, Democrat, independent, or whatever equivalent from other countries, regardless, uh, the facts on the ground is in this century, the 21st century, uh, under every U.S. presidential administration, Vladimir Putin has invaded uh, George Bush invaded Georgia. Obama went into Syria. Uh, Biden, of course, biggest war in Europe since World War II with Ukraine. And also President Biden uh, was Crimea, which of course is part of Ukraine. That is, except President Trump. The only president to have deterred Vladimir Putin and his aggression. So, whether or not you like Trump, the facts are, he was the one that was helping to assure peace in the world. I do recall when Trump was elected, people were going to say, oh, he's going to start World War III. We can't trust him with the nuclear codes. And now here we are spending at least $50 billion because of a war in Ukraine. And that's going to cost a lot more, and not including the cost of refugees and rebuilding the country. So it would have been a lot better to spend that money uh, building up our military and uh, deterring aggression uh, versus dealing with the aftermath. So, regardless of your politics, that's where we're at. So yes, I thought it would be quite appropriate to pair up this Ukraine Peace boxcar with a Trump engine. Here we have our Trump 2024 SD70 ACE as it was President Trump that helped deter uh, aggression from Vladimir Putin, whereas all other presidents this century have failed. So, we'll see what happens in the future. But regardless, uh, let's give uh, Ukraine our support, our thoughts, and if you're able to, uh, please donate uh, directly to um, charities that help uh, those civilians in their hour of need. Thank you.
Okay, well there we have it. Our Ukraine Peace Box car. <laughs> our little BETT engine over there having something else to say for us. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video and checking out this uh, brand new uh, Premier Box car from Atlas. Please go ahead, like the video, subscribe, and check out our other features. Thank you so much. Take care. And uh, like I mentioned, if you're able to, uh, please find your heart to uh, give a little something to the uh, civilians of Ukraine who are uh, really in a bad fix right now. Thank you so much.